Hey y'all, let's talk empire. So I caught up on last night's episode, I was a little behind, and uh, it was all about Andre. Now remember last episode, Andre told um, Lucius that he has basically an incurable heart condition if he doesn't get a new heart, which he probably won't get, so he was going to end his life. And this episode was kind of supposed to be the build up to that. And you know what? Um, black people, I need y'all to do something. When somebody tells you that they're suicidal, it's not your job to try to talk them out of it. It's your job to go get them some real professional mental health. Okay? 51, 50 hold, take them to the hospital. Bring in a trained psychiatrist, therapist, whoever is equipped to deal with that. I mean, what the fuck? I, th I thought that was a little irresponsible. I understand it's a TV show, but with the rash of suicides that we have, you know, going on in our particular community, I think it's a little irresponsible of the show to not really show that professional help is something that's needed in this case. In fact, the entire episode was Lucius trying his, so Lucius got into a car accident and the car accident knocked him out. So it looks, I mean, it's pretty obvious that he's having some sort of like hallucination or whatever else. And so different people that he's killed in the past are basically haunting him in this, whatever state he's in, trying to convince him to kill Andre. And I'm like, what? I mean, is this what we're doing? I didn't care for that, to be honest. So while Andre, uh, Lucius's alter egos are, you know, ghosts of Christmas past, I guess, are trying to convince him to kill his own son. Andre is trying to, you know, tie up loose ends and, you know, have his last moments with people in his life. Now, Jamal, Jesse is out on his honeymoon on say show. So I guess they're going to not have him on the show. I'm not happy about that, but I'm not going to get into that right now. We're talking about Andre. So Andre tries to go out with Terry to go skating, but she, unbeknownst to Andre, has a doctor's appointment about their baby that she's pregnant with. And so she swears uh, La Cookie to secrecy. Cookie takes her place and goes skating with him. And that's a very lovely episode where they bond and they kind, you know, basically Cookie apologizes for not being there for him. It just makes it clear that, you know, he there is no favorites among them and that she just always loved him and appreciated the fact that he was responsible. So that seemed like a nice, warm um closure I guess if you have to be closing a chapter um between the two of them and so he moves on to his next stop which is meeting with Terry's son and that's another heartwarming uh exchange where he gets a call because apparently the feds have frozen all of Empire's assets now I can understand how they can freeze the cookie and Lucius's assets because they're supposedly under investigation okay I can't understand it but uh, let's just say hypothetically speaking if they were to be able to freeze anybody's assets it would be Cookie and Lucius is not the entire corporation. That's a publicly traded co corporation. But okay, we, we're going to go with it. So, you know, Cookie gets called, you know, in, um, you know, but the, the Fed chick is on her ass. But, you know, for this fishing ex expedition, they sure don't have shit for them to be able to freeze assets and pick people up at will. Where is a warrant? Where is probable cause? Anyway. So Cookie, of course, you know, handles her own. She doesn't snitch. She doesn't tell anything. But she does make sure she makes her way to David Cross to let him know that he's in danger. He, again, makes an appeal for her, you know, love and affection, and she turns him down. So I think that's going to be probably the last that we'll see of at least that little subplot of Cookie and Damon, you know, flirting around or whatever. So back at Empire, the, the assets are frozen. Everybody is quitting the tour. So they devise a plan, being Becky and Giselle devise a plan to put on a concert that they can actually charge for. Andre comes to the rescue as well. He's all hands on deck, even though he's sick, even though he's planning to kill himself later. But, you know, priorities, right? So anyway, he is trying to get with Patel, but instead he calls in Kingsley. Where Kingsley, you know, just at first he tries to be all defiant and stuff and, you know be typical Kingsley. I guess Andre's appeal about him being a lion and being, you know, his big brother works and he just transfers $10 million on the spot to Empire. Problem solved. So the show goes on and uh, Lucius wakes up from his, you know, being knocked out. He makes it to the concert. Cookie makes it to the concert. Jamal is performing. Oh, and speaking of Jamal, Tiana, I guess it's getting hot and heavy with Mario. I don't know his name in the show. Sorry, Mario. And um, so I, they're not doing anything with Jamal. I feel really bad for his character, but whatever. Anyways, 
he has a little moment with Tiana where he replaces the necklace that, you know, represented the name of their daughter who was a stillborn. Um, or did she pass away while she was still pregnant? I don't remember, but either way, their daughter, unfortunately, did not make it. And so she gives he gives her a necklace with that. There's a little tension there, but Tiana seems hell-bent on moving on, unlike Hakeem. But Hakeem is like, listen, I'm not going to keep chasing you. So if you want to go, if, you, if you're not happy, go ahead and free yourself, as Fantasia would say. So anyways, there's a concert. Everybody's there. Things go great. And Andre takes the opportunity to kind of say his goodbyes. Unbeknownst to everybody. So they kind of think it's suspicious, suspicious, but they say they're goodbye. He says it's goodbyes. You know, he tells Terry, who, by the way, found out that pregnancy's a go. It's all good. Um, and she plans to tell him tomorrow. But unfortunately, he's planning on being dead by tomorrow. So anyways, he and Lucius go their separate ways. Cookie gets back to the house where she suddenly discovers these suicidal letters that Andre has left for her and for everybody else. And she recalls their conversation and rushes to the hotel that she believes that he's at just in time to stop him from taking the pills to end his life. She was ready to beat Lucius's ass for letting Andre kill himself. Somebody has some sense on this damn show. I mean, what the hell, Lucius? Why would you sit up there and, 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 and encourage or allow that kind of behavior? I guess they had a whole last supper and they're all kicking and shit. And he's like, well, you don't have to do this. No shit, he doesn't have to do it. Don't you think you should get somebody better equipped to do to deal with this situation? But thank God for a cookie, you know, being the responsible parent and barging in and making sure that she stops Andre from bending his life. She reveals the big news that Terry is pregnant. He's caught in such shock that he ends up Look, seem like he has a heart attack or he has, he, he collapses and breaks down. He's having some sort of medical condition. So we don't know what happens to Andre. We, we're going to find out next week who's in the casket. One of the lions. Who else would it be for Andre at this point though? But I'm hope. I mean, I love Andre and I think that it's great. He's about to have a baby. He could get married to Terry and he can live happily ever after. Damn. Why can't the other lions procreate? Why is on, why is Jamal the only person who can have a freaking kid on this show? So we'll find out next week. I'm like really not looking forward to it simply because somebody I like is going to die and I do not approve of that. But I guess if Andre does die, it's better that he doesn't die by suicide because that's an awful message for the show to send. But we'll have to wait till next week to find out. And you know, the good news is that Empire has been renewed for another season. The bad news though, it looks like Jesse Smollett is not coming back. He's been picked up in terms of the option, but they don't have any um, plans to cast him. I think that's completely stupid because he makes the show amazing. But you know, people don't want no problem. So unfortunately, it looks like it's not looking good for Jesse. I'm hoping though that something will change. I mean, hell, the president, y'all's president could do whatever the hell he want to do. But apparently Jesse is public enemy number one. Ain't that some shit? What kind of stuff does that? Anyway, I'm not going to keep, I'm not going to go in on this again. All I'm going to say is tune in next week.